The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve from Boatest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sun Tracker Sportfish 22 XP3. Now, this boat answers the need for pontoon boaters that want plenty of room on board for entertaining, water sports, and the back of the boat dedicated to fishing. Let's take a look at the features first. Now, as we look at the features, this is a sport fish pontoon. So, the party goes in the front, fishing is to the rear, and those fishing features consist of the two bucket seats, flip backs, the cushions to the stern, underneath, 16 gallon live well to the port side with a removable bait bucket to the starboard side, the engine crank battery, with the hatches closed, cushions on top, rod holders plus drink holders to both sides. To the port hand side is vertical rod storage and a tool holder. To the starboard side is additional rod storage, can hold rods up to 7 feet 6 inches long and it's lockable. And of course the bow isn't without its fishing features. It's pre-wired for a trolling motor, battery goes underneath the seat. As we transition to the comfort side of things, notice how the seats swivel to face forward and join the crowd and that the boat is accessed through this angled entryway 19 inches wide. Over to the port hand side we have L-shaped seating wrapping around a kidney shaped pedestal table. The seats are rotomolded, molded drink holders all around. The usual accommodations for storage are underneath but we have an unusual feature. The Stowmore seat storage system that adds 50% more storage to our capabilities. And here's a neat touch. There's even lockable storage under these seats. Protection overhead is from this bimini top and it's actuated from the one touch system so one person can deploy it. It covers nine feet of area and it's color keyed to the boat. At the front of the seat is a fold away changing room and notice this gate, 31 inch wide entryway which makes it handicapped accessible. Opposing seating at the bow consists of dual couches, love seat to the port hand side, longer couch with a reclining feature to the starboard side. Both of these couches also feature the Stowmore storage system and directly ahead is a gate leading out to the foredeck. The decking is vinyl that's a little bit slippery. I'd like to see the upgraded woven vinyl. Both are on top of marine grade plywood. The foredeck maxes out at 18 inches front to rear. Nav lights are to both sides and we have plenty of room for the six inch cleats, two to each side, both fore and aft. The fences consist of rails at inch and a quarter. There's grooves underneath to hold the rail lock system for the mooring cover. That eliminates the snaps that are so hard to use. The panels available in two colors, the caribou here or black. Now let's close out the operational aspects by looking at the helm, beginning with the seat. Slides fore and aft, swivels, flip up armrests, and is very plush. The panel is minimalist but still functional with two multifunction gauges to either side of a storage space and this can be optioned out for a Hook 5 Pro from Lowrance because we have the fish package. Rocker switches are to either side, over to the starboard side, a 12 volt accessory plug just above where we're going to store the cell phone and over to the left hand side, USB and MP3 input right next to the Jensen stereo connected to four speakers throughout the boat. The horn separated nicely over to the opposite side is the ignition well out of the knee strike zone. The steering is hydraulic and mounted to a tilt base and the engine controls are mounted at an angle in the typical fashion of pontoon boats but still nicely within reach of the seat. Below is a conveniently located footrest and around the side is cooler storage. Now let's take a look at the test numbers. Before we get on the water, this boat's rated for engines from 115 to 200 horsepower. The most popular option being the 150 four-stroke, which is what's on our test platform. The Sun Tracker Sportfish 22 XP3 has a length overall of 24 feet 2 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. With an empty weight of 5,246 pounds, 80% fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,916 pounds. With a 150 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke turning a 15.6 by 13 pitch inertia prop, we reached our top speed of 35.1 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Best cruise came in at 3,000 RPM at 14.3 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 3.3 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into a range of 205 miles while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 52 gallon total fuel capacity. We accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds and continued through 30 in 9.8 seconds. 
The 26-inch diameter XP3 high-performance multi-chambered pontoon logs included welded-on lifting strakes, wave deflectors, and internal bracing for additional strength. And notice the added trim work where it meets the deck. This all provides excellent handling characteristics that start right from cruise where we found that just a bit of up trim got her into a roughly 5 degree bell high attitude where she performs best. With comp conditions we were left with crossing wakes of our camera boat to show an easy transition and no hull slap or adverse feel. She turns well and has a nice response to the helm remaining fairly level in the turns. We did ventilate the prop just a bit but bringing the trim back down solved that. Basically, with this 154 stroke, no matter how heavy handed we got, it stayed comfortable throughout. Well, clearly we've got the comfort that we've come to look for in a pontoon boat, the fishing features that pontoon boaters have been looking for, and the handling characteristics that we've come to expect from the brand, all rolled into one in the Sun Tracker Sportfish 22 XP3. And that's my full look for BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.